Use a compass and ruler to determine the pipe diameter and the flange diameter. The pipe diameter is 60 millimeters and the flange diameter is 165 millimeters. And we need to determine the height of the flange cover. Measure the size of the bolt, which has a total length of 70 millimeters. Adding twice the insulation thickness of 13 millimeters and additional 5 millimeters tolerance. We have taken all the measurements including pipe diameter, flange diameter, and flange height. Now, mark it on the material. I've taken half of the pipe diameter and half of the flange diameter, and I'll lay it out here. It's important when cutting the outer diameter to ensure the knife goes through the material right angled. When cutting the small diameter angle it slightly. The reason is that we come into contact with the weld seam of the connection between pipe and flange. We have made the end plate. We determine the circumference using the same thickness we're working with. Rotate around the end plate. Not too tight. We mark it on the inside. And cut it to length. So this is the circumference. We've determined the circumference. It's crucial to ensure that the inner edges are roughened. to ensure proper adhesion of the glue to the end plates. We do this on both sides. We'll apply the glue to the roughened area. Check if the glue is dry. When using Thermoflex material, ensure when making a flange cover that you start from the center. So, we pick up one part, we roll it around the end plate, press firmly. Pick up the other side and continue rolling. Ensure you have a small overlap so you can press the material easily together. Ensuring good tension on your seam. Now, we'll place the second end plate, starting from the beginning of the circumference, and carefully roll it. Press firmly, and we have a flange cover. The flange cover is fully assembled. We must ensure it's ready for installation. A seam needs to be made for mounting purposes. After cutting open the flange cover, apply glue to both sides to get good adhesion. Now that the glue is dry, we can press the two parts together. We firmly press the seam and the flange cover is applied correctly. If you have any questions about Thermoflex products, please visit the website.